Good morning, everybody. Uh, this is the day four of Galaxy Community Conference uh, meeting here in Minneapolis, and we have uh, Simon, uh, Anton, and Bjorn, uh, all representing uh, different Galaxy communities, the part of usegalaxy.star network. Um, so I had a question. Uh, thanks again for uh, attending this in person. Um, I had a question for all three of you. What has been the experience attending this conference after three years of um, attending it online? Well, it was like um, coming home, coming to meet all my friends again. And uh, actually, this, this community is probably the most open and uh, accessible and friendly scientific community I've ever been a part of and it was just it's just awesome to see everybody again and in and bring new people into the community as well it's really good yeah I think it's very much family experience and especially after two years of doom this is uh, this is incredible it's it's, it's uh, it, it, it gives energy I think for the for the next year I'm just blown away. It's 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 a little bit hard to bring the distancing of COVID and the hugging need that we all have um, together. But otherwise, it's it's a, it's a great conference. It's it's great to see everyone. I think the content is also really cool. We we have new people here, mm -hmm. and this is what 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 I really missed over the years. Um, getting these contact to these new people, getting contact to the old people. Um, yeah, and just I mean after the presentation just hanging around with our friends with the new people and then talking to them so right, right. it was great and you know we have been doing this interviews with session chairs and asking them this question about what is that the people who are attending this online what are they missing and it, perhaps you kind of already answered that but anything else that you would like to add to i think it's the follow-up conversations you get to have so you watch this amazing presentation of some um, incredible new field that no one would ever have thought of using galaxy for before and then you get to come and talk to the person afterwards and and understand uh, their priorities and, and where they're coming from and why they want to use Galaxy and that just enriches everything. So right. yeah, like for me, it's a follow-up conversations. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have this unique opportunity having all three of you here. And you know, one of the things that we, we have been doing is having, trying to have some global um, workshops or workshops where we can reach out to as many people as possible. and. We always promote this use galaxy dot star concept there, where you know we we not only restricted to a particular region, but frankly can reach most of the world. Uh, and you know, Anton gave a really good talk about accessibility and making it accessible. Um, any comments on where use galaxy dot star is going? Any new plans? Or uh, this could be you know with respect to all the three different galaxies, or it could be in general as well. I think we're still working towards making the experience you have on the big public servers more similar and um, and have us have us um, have the same behavior of both galaxy our galaxies have the same behavior so that when users uh, say in the Australia Pacific region use my server they are they have the same experience as if they would be using Bjorn's server and so this it re reduces confusion makes it everything more accessible as well. And just general support, I think, is one of the things we need to work on. I mean, I think uh, because the, the three sites, they differ uh, in terms of uh, what resources they have, how they configure these resources, actually getting this into one system, it pretty much is gonna solve all the, it will make Galaxy truly generic, where generic is not a bad word, it's actually applicable to kind of any circumstances. And when we say actually use galaxy.star, I don't think, because in our opinion, Galaxy P is a part of use galaxy.star too. So it's not a, it's not an exclusive right, club. Right, yeah, yeah. But you know, in terms of resources, as you said, you yeah. know, these three have got uh, yeah. pretty. Because use Galaxy Not Star, yes, there's three instances, but it's more than that. It's, and so there are yeah. lots of other instances which are Galaxy here and Galaxy Africa. Yeah. And, yeah. Right, right. And Galaxy P, etc. Anything you want to add? Or? Um, I totally agree from the user perspective. Um, I think from, a, from the admin perspective, I guess um, we have a lot of opportunities to more use or to use more synergies between us. So Australia developed this total perspective vortex thing, um, which I'm super excited to also use that in the EU. And this will also harmonize things on the, on the administrative part which then frees more energy to do other great things. So that's also 
something that, that I think we will look at in the next months, years. Okay. I actually think it'll make it a lot easier for us to share resources, it's like compute resources between us as well. So. So I have two questions from the Slack channel. So one of them um, is, what activities uh, do you plan to uh, to get a more diverse, equitable, and inclusive Galaxy community? How much time do we have to answer this question? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, maybe, I, maybe I should start. I think the, the Galaxy community already is a better model of the human society in general. But we can do. We can. We can certainly do. Um, we can certainly do better. And this, um, the um, so the mentoring new people, uh, making sure that uh, we're being even more inclusive. So there's. It, it's. I, we can always sort of do better. So, so I think it's continuing to be friendly and open. Um, I, I think that that's. We have to be open. Um, the the other thing that we put need to do um, is take Galaxy into more different communities. Um, so, so we've run workshops in Indonesia and Malaysia and, um, and we're going to do hopefully do one in Papua New Guinea but we've done them in, in uh, West Africa and, and Southern Africa and we just need to keep spreading and, and going into more places. That's right. Yeah, yeah. We, we need to leave our comfort zone right to, to, to get to new communities. And I'm super excited, for example, the VGP project, which is also an, a global project where we now have the possibility to, to work also with the African continent on um, genome sequencing. We, there are training opportunities, there are a lot of mentoring opportunities that we can take. And I'm really looking forward to, to go in this direction, um, help those people to build other smaller communities maybe um, that can join them, the global galaxy family. I mean, the Galaxy Mentoring Network that will hopefully start very soon after GCC. And if anyone is uh, looking and want to mentor or want to be a mentee, um, I, I really invite you to join the Galaxy Mentoring Network, but there's also OLS where the Galaxy community is, is participating. And I hope that we can build on those models to, to, to be more um, inclusive and, and also reach out to other communities. Thank you. And then one last question from Maria Doyle again. This was also from the Slack channel. Um, what is the Galaxy area or issue or challenge that uh, they would like most, uh, that they would like uh, the community to help with? Well, this is hyperactive community. So there are lots of things happening. And sometimes, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a network. Sometimes this doesn't propagate through all the nodes. So I think our biggest challenge is to making absolutely clear what we already have, what the components are, how things work. That's is, it's a great problem to have, but we have that problem. And so, we, so, yeah, so essentially making uh, what we have known, all the pieces, what you can actually do. You, know, you can go from A to Z this way and that way, depending on what your infrastructure is, depending on what your data is, depending on what uh, scientific field you're in, these kinds of things. And it actually also relates to, to, the, to the question before a little bit, I think. If we can communicate better what Galaxy is, what Galaxy can actually do, the entire aspect of accessible research and infrastructures, if we can get this message to more people, we also get more diverse set of people, more diverse set of communities that actually um, can contribute and then we can grow together. So, for example, we, we have seen here um, communities for material science popping up and having huge instances and, and developing now workflows. And this is exactly the, the, the point a little bit is, we need help in doing this outreach to, to get this message to more people. Um, and, and that's a big, big thing. Mm -hmm. The other thing um, I guess is also that we can invest more in our user interface a little bit, mm -hmm. making this also more accessible. So um, we, we had just a discussion about in, enhancing um, the screen reader functionality in Galaxy and so on. Um, and, and these are aspects um, where we obviously need help and, and where everyone can help in improving the, the user experience in Galaxy. Um, but yeah, in, in the end it also depends what your skills are. And, and the Galaxy ecosystem, not just the Galaxy framework, but the ecosystem with the training network, with the very set of tools, right? Um, there's a lot of opportunities where people can help. So it's this, also a little bit depends on what skills you have mm -hmm. and we probably have a cool project 
where you can work on, mm. I would assume. Sure. Yeah, I would agree with everything you've just said. Right. Um, for us, um, in the Asia Pacific region is especially, uh, I think uh, communication is probably um, our, our biggest thing. And, and not just, but the diverse range of communication and, and, and looking at the different needs of different locations. And, uh, and trying to incorporate those kind of ideas into into the way we, we talk about the arts in, in different places. And so we need some help in that. All right, on that note, uh, I'd like to thank all three of you for joining here. One last time, yeah. Let me thank the organizers of this conference, right? Sabina, Kritik, um, but also the entire scientific committee, um, the entire organizing committee. It, it, it was super cool. Um, I really enjoyed it um, and, and I mean from experience I know how hard it is to organize such a conference so yeah. Yeah. Thank you. thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you very much, it's been wonderful. Again, this was the, it's the, it's the highlight of the past, uh, you know, of, of the past of, of, of many years, we're finally together and thank you for, it, it's a gift, thank you for that. All right, thank you very much um, and we will, uh, we'll sign off here. <laughs>